by Zolta, latanoprostine bunad ophthalmic solution, 0.024% is indicated for the reduction of intraocular pressure, IOP, in patients with open angle glaucoma or ocular hypertension. Please see important safety information at the end of this video. I'm able to use Visalta in my practice in a variety of different settings. Uh, first of all, Visalta is on label for the treatment of ocular hypertension and glaucoma. So we can use it for ocular hypertensives and I think that speaks to its approval for early stages of the disease. Although it has a efficacy that's better than latanoprost, in my mind there's no need to try latanoprost first, so you can just start even ocular hypertension with Visalta. When I think of patient types for Visalta, this really is a great utilitarian tool. It's a great first line start uh, because of its safety as well as efficacy, but also for those patients that are on a prostaglandin, maybe further along the continuum of the disease, this has really been um, an excellent tool as well. And then lastly, for those people that might be on two products, maybe a prostaglandin and a beta blocker that have tolerability issues, systemic side effect issues from the beta blocker, streamlining therapy is also a position for the product. So you can see it has a wide array of patient applications uh, in my hands. In my hands, I've used Visolta on a number of different type of patient populations. New starts, mild to moderate, advanced glaucoma, and even patients with starting pressures that are in the normal range. You know, if you look at data out there, it's up to 40 to 50% of our patients actually have pressures under 21. And I think what's consistent with the Jupiter study, which looked at patients with an average pressure in the upper teens, I think 19 range, we found the same thing in our hands. You know, it's very difficult to get pressures reduction when you have a starting pressure in the middle to upper teens. But I've been surprised using Visolta in that type of population, that kind of normal type of population, I find that there's still significant reduction, 20, 25, and even, even 30% in some of my patients as well. So that's been kind of a surprise because historically, we have not seen that type of response in those patients. In addition to being a great option in patients with ocular hypertension or primary open angle glaucoma, we've also found that in people with normal pressures or pressures 21 or lower, we're actually able to get four to five millimeters of mercury of IOP lowering in these patients. And so really, this is something that in people with normal pressure or normal tension glaucoma is an excellent option of therapy. Regardless of your patient's baseline pressure, whether it's 15 millimeters of mercury, or 30 millimeters of mercury. Visalta is approved to lower the intraocular pressure. Visalta, latanoprostine bunad ophthalmic solution, 0.024% is indicated for the reduction of intraocular pressure, IOP, in patients with open angle glaucoma or ocular hypertension. Important safety information, Increased pigmentation of the iris and periorbital tissue, eyelid, can occur. Iris pigmentation is likely to be permanent. Gradual changes to eyelashes, including increased length, increased thickness, and number of eyelashes may occur. These changes are usually reversible upon treatment discontinuation. Use with caution in patients with a history of intraocular inflammation, iritis, uveitis. Visalta should generally not be used in patients with active intraocular inflammation. Macular edema, including cystoid macular edema, has been reported during treatment with prostaglandin analogs. Use with caution in aphagic patients, in pseudoaphagic patients with a torn posterior lens capsule, or in patients with known risk factors for macular edema. There have been reports of bacterial keratitis associated with the number of multiple dose containers of topical orthomic products that were inadvertently contaminated by patients. Contact lenses should be removed prior to the administration of Visalta and may be reinserted 15 minutes after administration. Most common ocular adverse reactions with incidence of greater than or equal to 2% are conjunctival hyperemia, 6%, eye irritation, 4%, eye pain, 3%, and installation site pain, 2%. Please see full prescribing information at visalta.com.